hello guys open the terminal and we are going to install um, NeoFetch so sudo apt-get install NeoFetch oh. alright just wants you to type your password Now, sometimes, from what I've realized, is that sometimes I, I I try to install it and I get this fail to fetch. And right now, the current solution that I've had that that has worked for me is just keep trying it. So I just uh, if you just um, hit the up button, it just go to previously what you typed. Try it again. Y enter. And I think it worked this time. Yep, it worked this time. So um, that's how I've been able to get out of that. So we have that working. Let's see. Okay, awesome. Now type in NeoFetch just to see what NeoFetch is. All right, let's try that. And there you go. So you have basically, uh, you know, uh, your, your computer name, the OS. Uh, the kernel you're using, uh, resolution. Um, you also have uh, the CPU, Intel i7-6700. Yeah, and the GPU. Of course, we're using a virtual box, so a virtual box graphics adapter. And if you remember the memory, how much memory we gave to this virtual box, it's currently using, I guess, uh, 578 megabytes. Um, yes. Okay. So, and you can type in clear, hit enter to clear everything. The next we're going to install is um, sudo. We're going to install another, um, you don't have to, but this is another terminal. It's a drop down terminal, which I, I, I really like. Um, so, app get install. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we went got the same fail to fetch. All right, let's just try it again. Maybe this time it might work. I'm not necessarily sure why it keeps doing that. Okay, here we go. It's working. Let's give it some time. I should have probably updated this before, but. Okay, so all right, we're done with this one. Now, um, just to give an example, let's go to applications. Actually, let me click on menu and type it in. Okay, there we go. We have uh, Yakuake. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Alrighty, so you get to choose whatever button you want to use um, for the drop down menu. So uh, in, my, in my case, F12, as you can see, I, I prefer this one. I just think it looks cooler. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so the next thing is to, let's say, we want to make our desktop just, or should I say our computer, our windows, etc., behave in a different, maybe a fancier way. Let me put it that way. We're going to sudo install another application. And it looks like we're probably going to have, oh, no, it worked. Okay, all done. All right. Oops. Clear. And if you want to exit, let's type exit. All right. So now we can use a drop down menu or terminal. Sorry. All right. So the next thing, let's search for. We want to just play around with compass for a little bit. Let's search for, let's see, um, make. Tweak, I believe it is. Yep, there we go. On the window manager, we want to select what we just installed. Advanced GPU accelerated desktop effects. Now, I tried this on another virtual machine, and for some weird reason, it just broke my desktop. Hopefully, it doesn't happen this time. And before we actually go, let's change the background. I'm going to right click, change desktop background. And I really like this one. Close. There we go. Looks really nice. All right. So now let's go back. Control center. Okay. Actually, um, and you have compass config settings manager here. Um, I could have just typed this in, in the search bar and that would have popped up, but anyway. Okay, all right. So, uh, let's see. Let's try and add some effects. Let's see. Okay, nothing so far. All right, so. Let's see. I want to, I'm looking for something. Okay, ring switcher. There we go. See, as you can see over there. And that is the, the Windows key and tab. Windows key and tab to switch. Um, let's see, shift switcher instead. Uh -oh. Okay. That was something. Maybe I should have done that. Let me turn this off and see if I can turn this on. Okay. There we go. So that's also pretty neat. I mean, that's if you prefer that one. Let's turn that off. And let's see if there's... I, I think I like the ring switcher better. Okay, let's see what else. What else can we get? Oh, wobbly windows. Let's try that. Let's see that. Okay. Um, there was another one that I liked. Desktop cube. Okay, now. All right, let's try desktop cube. I don't know actually how this one actually even works. Let's try this. It will next up cube. Some weird reason I was able to do. It. Anyway, but guys, you can go on ahead and just play around with this, um, just to figure out what works. You know what you like, and um, and for the next time we will jump into installing um, the software. Um, that we're going to be using for um, either Java programming or cybersecurity, whichever one. All right. Take care, guys.